What's up, guys? So I'm back at it again with the nastiness, and uh, I wanted to talk about some Cowboy Bebop shit. So um, as you guys can see, <laughs> the live-action Cowboy Bebop is now canceled. There will be no second season as intended. When this shit ended on Netflix, it ended... It has what I like to call an open ending. Basically, they were preparing the viewers for season two. Cowboy Bebop mainstays react to series cancellation. It came from a real and pure place of respect and affection. I need to know who says that and in what context before I get at them. So, let's scroll down. Oh, I'm not going to read all of this because we have a lot to talk about. This is going to be a fun video. Not And not because uh, of their failure. But, you know, I get to let loose, for, you know, I haven't let loose in a while. I haven't been able to make a video in a while since uh, I got bodied financially. But um, let's not talk about that. Um, let's talk about them, okay? So we're talking Cowboy Bebop. Let's go. News came out today that Netflix would not be moving forward with a second season of Cowboy Bebop. It's once highly anticipated live action anime adaptation starring John Cho. The quick cancellation came less than three weeks after its November 19th launch. Based on Shinichiro Watanabe's cult anime classic series, they didn't say classic, but it just sort of rolled off the tongue, Cowboy Bebop followed a group of misfit bounty hunters led by Spike Spiegel, who was being played by John Cho, and they searched for the galaxy's most valuable criminals. Mustafa Shakir also starred as Jet Black and Daniela Pineda as Faye Valentine. Sho didn't directly reference the cancellation, but shared his feelings about the news. Posting a GIF, I don't know what the fuck that is, so we're gonna skip that. And this is their gift. I'm okay, this is John Sho playing the dude who played Spike. I'm okay, but um, he's not okay, that's the joke. Um, <laughs> let's see. I truly loved working on this. It came from a real and pure place of respect and affection i wish we could make what we planned for a second season but you know what they say men plan god laughs see you space cowboy so he's summing that it, he's saying that it comes from a place of respect and affection and you know what to a certain extent i agree with that i believe that the people working on this did respect... No, 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 no. Let me rephrase that. They do respect Cowboy Bebop. They probably did watch it. And they probably have some love for the anime. Here's where shit gets a little problematic. That's not everyone, alright? I guarantee you that the people that was head on the team does not share that respect. And does not share that affection. Maybe the actors, maybe, but I guarantee you, script writers, one of these dudes. If if you have love and perfection, I mean, love and affection for something like this, you don't produce this. This is not what you. <laughs> I'm gonna get into the problems later on, but I do believe that some people did love, did look forward to this, and they actually cared. But I don't believe that was every person working on this. I believe there's certain people that this what that wanted to alter it to their liking. Their mentality was, this is good, let's make it better. Because I don't like this or that, because I can't relate to this or that. Yes, it's, it's just the same shit, bro. Let's see. The one nice thing about tweeting about the cancellation of Bebop is that it's one more bite at the block toxic fans with extreme prejudice, Apple. Now, fans with extreme prejudice, I know where they're coming from. I mean, how many live-action anime movies... No, wait, wait. How much doo-doo were we spoon-fed by fucking Hollywood people? They give us... They, they make fucking Dragon Ball. Ghost in the Shell. Fist... Oh, let's not even talk about Fist. Fist of the North Star was worse than Dragon Ball in every single way, right? I, I love Dragon Ball as a series a franchise, and I love Fist of the North Star as a franchise. Both of them got done dirty by live-action, but... The difference between Fist of the North Star live-action and Dragon Ball live-action is that... Yeah, they're both shit, but Fist of the North Star was made in the 90s. The live action movie, so. Imagine how disgust. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I didn't want to think about it. I was warned not to watch it. I was warned, and I, and I, I didn't listen. <laughs> I didn't listen. 
But anyway, um, I remained open-minded when the trailer dropped. Yes, I dropped videos shitting on it. I dropped videos shitting on it. But I was still open to the possibility of it being good. And it looks like it it just didn't live up to that possibility. I truly loved working on this. It came from a... I already just read that, didn't we? Anyway, a joy to work on this with you. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> they look shit-faced. <laughs> Oh God! See you, Space Cowboys. This shit sucks. Cause so like, he was actually pretty good. He was a good ass actor, bro. I'm not gonna lie. His Jet Black Black portrayal was good, but this interpretation of Jet Jet Black in the actual show was actually quite disgusting. Well, I'm gonna get to that. <laughs>